Why is the sky blue? Looks quite beautiful. Seems to complement the world around us. Looking out, I've heard some people say the sky is forever. Just keeps going out, out into the space. And we all know that the common answer to why the sky is blue. It's like light, the spectrum of light is being scattered and blue is the only color that we apparently can see. But is that really true? Let's just search here why. <clears throat> yes, as gases and particles in the Earth's atmosphere scatter sunlight in all directions. Blue light is scattered more than others other colors because it travels as shorter smaller waves this is why we see blue most of the time hmm. I suppose that could be true I mean light is made of many colors right and it can be split is light really what we think it is though I've heard many people even question what is light I don't believe in Einstein to be a genius I believe, uh, trust more Nikolai Tesla than him. But we're going to talk about why the Earth, why the sky could be blue on a flat Earth. Now, there there was this video I was watching, and, um, you know, on a flat Earth, there's a firmament. It's the dome above the flat Earth that encloses the, it's, that keeps this, create, keeps this as an, as an enclosed system. There is no space, and we don't know what's outside of the dome, but if we trust in the biblical narrative, there should be water above above the outside of the firmament and beneath the, the ground we walk on, which scientists have already confirmed that they have dug, and they have found literally oceans of amount of water underneath our feet. And I know there's places where there's magma, but there's more water under our, under our earth than we, than we could possibly imagine. And... I watched some video of uh, how we can create a rainbow inside of uh, our, ho our home artificially and it's pretty cool I mean why is the sky blue yes yeah, so I think it could be because that the sky is a giant mirror and as I was mentioning earlier like in this video we watched this woman she creates a rainbow inside and I've seen one with some guy he the first one I saw was with some guy from India creating some rainbow inside for some children but I did this myself and I didn't get the the best rainbow but I got a small rainbow and and I believe that the shape of the rainbow the shape of the mirror is indicative of the rainbow shape or the rainbow shape is indicative of the mirror shape. And when we see a rainbow outside, it's shaped as an arc or a bow. And if you think about it, that would be a dome-shaped mirror. And the way you make a mirror, I mean a rainbow outside, is that if you have some uh, sunlight and you sp have some water spraying, or and you can do it sometimes with a bottle of water in a window sill, and um, it will make create it on the ground. But the way that we were talking about was putting it, uh, putting a a mirror under water and shining light on it. And you can do this with a cell phone or with a flashlight. But you can create a rainbow. And what makes the rainbow outside then naturally? And the, people are thinking that it is the firmament. It is the in, in Greek mythology they stated that it was a bronze. Uh, shiny bronze uh, ceiling above our heads and they probably are right I mean the ancients had more knowledge about this realm than we could ever imagine and the the elites of this world know that we live on Middle Earth that they are literally warlocks and sorcerers create, casting spells on us to trick us and that's why Charlie Sheen was saying he was a warlock that time on, on YouTube, because he's part of this sat this cult, this satanic cult, and they always name things strange. Like you know, they name things like the those electric bolts that the those strange uh, anomalies that are are above the thunder. 
and lightning strikes. They're called sprites. You know, they always name them like these fant fantasy names because they know that we live on Middle Earth. We really do live in some fantastical world and that history is more fantastical and, fan and, and more fantasy than you could ever imagine. But sorry, I'm getting off uh, topic here. Talk about why the sky is blue. So I was watching um, the Weather Channel and I know it's full of propaganda. They always have the ball earth there. They always show it. And they, every time some, some weather phenomenon happens that, that's unique or strange they always you know create some fake scientific story about it to make it deflect right and they never talk about chemtrails they should i mean if this is a legit scientific uh kind of community they would be questioning what chemtrails were because a lot of people are probably sending them in because we know the public's getting wise to these geoengineering where we know in the, in the 50s that the, the americans were using a weather tech manipulation techniques however one day i was watching the weather network and i was seeing and this guy here he's such a liar this guy's such a scumbag liar i mean i don't know if he's a scumbag he might be a nice person but he's a liar definitely i caught him one time on air lying he was he was saying that he he, he they were showing footage of these raindrops and he was saying that he could he was saying something scientific about it that he could figure it out it was this type of raindrop or where it was Due, due to the size of how just looking at it with his eyeball but when it cut back to him he was he was surpri surprised throwing away a piece of uh, paper that had the information because he was trying to act like he, he knew everything like he was so smart but he's just a liar like they all are and they always put up the propaganda on the weather channel too on <clears throat> anyway one time they had this little survey they said why is the sky blue and they said uh, a true or false question and it had uh, it's because it's reflecting the oceans and then it says false right and then it gives the real answer but i just thought that was really interesting and after thought well after thinking about it i thought could it be that the sky is really a giant mirror and i do believe that the firmament is there and i've seen a high altitude rocket independent rocket uh launch that's independent of nasa they they sent a rocket straight up and it hit something and it, and it came down and um, I'm thinking like if you have a giant mirror and you're reflecting like say some kind of blue color or green and you have it close to um, okay say we make a mock-up we make a mock-up of the earth and we have mostly blue oceans and if this mirror is not like a perfect mirror it's not like I mean whatever God makes is perfect for its purposes right it's unbreakable and it's a, it's it's an insulator and um, whatever it, whatever things function and I don't know about the stars. People some people think the stars are embedded in the firmament. I don't believe so. I think they're actually within the firmament, very close to the, the to the mirror. But if it is indeed a mirror, and if you go up close to it, I don't think you could see your reflection perfectly. I think it would be kind of like a dark silhouette of yourself, like a kind of a not so detailed image of yourself like kind of like a silhouette of yourself but i think if the earth is mostly ocean and if it's far away we're not going to see the land reflection so we're going to get mostly of a blue hue and we're going to get that blue hue in the sky and i know when this when it goes dark nighttime there's less light and you can search about water if you is water actually blue by itself or is it just reflecting or picking up light or something and it's it said that no it water pure water actually when stacked it is blue so the oceans of the earth are blue and there's large bodies of, of uh, waters within the land like lakes and and there's a lot of ice that surrounds the earth uh, this plane and we don't know how far the ice extends but we don't know how there's probably the the edge is there and there's probably the the wall right the dome firmament and I think that the sky could be blue because it's reflecting the water, the oceans. And I'm thinking that if you, if you, if you were reflecting, say something, back like that, that color, you would get that hue in the air, that blue hue that that you see that covers trees and mountains in the back in the distance. I think a mirror could do that because it's reflecting the color from above. So that 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 color will be scattered still, right? And then it will make trees from distance look blue, opposed to green, and it'll put that uh, blue hue in the moon when you see it on the 
clear day, right? You see the the moon has a blue hue. Anyway, so yeah, that, and uh, now we're just gonna look at um, some other uh, videos that I found that kind of I I think give credence to a uh, or give support a, a dome firmament. So we're gonna look at another video that. Uh, well, first we're gonna look at the footage from. I can't remember, was it Johnston Island or something? It was a, a north of Hawaii, I think, is where American, the Americans were launching the rockets after World War II that during, the I think, the space race between when JFK was in power, I mean, a president, um, the president of the United States, JFK, who was assassinated, this guy who actually was exposing the secret group that runs society, but he was killed before he could expose them more. Six days after his speech or something, or... His famous speech. Anyway, so um, during this space race, they were launching rockets. Russia and America were launching rockets, nuclear warheads up into the sky. And they were trying to say it was for some space test, but it was because they were they found the, the dome and at the, the edge of, the, of our realm in Antarctica dur during the end of World War II, lurk, looking for the Nazis. And... They freaked out. They made the the Antarctic Treaty that no one could go there. No country has ever. I think eighty countries are all part of it, and they no treaty. They've never gone there to mine for resources. Nothing, and it's full of oil, full of resources, gold, and everything. But they never go there. Are you telling me no corporation would ever break that? Why is it that these company, these countries, they break treaties all the time and fight each other for land or war, whatever? But now all of a sudden they're not gonna break the treaty so they all freaked out and then they said okay we're living in a flat realm which we probably suspected they are the elites probably already knew right but the majority of the you know military they probably f the 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 brass top brass figured it out so then they started firing missiles they started doing tests right so they're firing missiles and seeing if they could actually okay they've confirmed that there's a dome right? so they started firing missiles and then i've taken some images right and i'm going to show you guys where they have these warheads hitting this thing, and you can see that these missiles are hitting something. They don't look like, um, they definitely look like they're hitting something. Like you can see the missiles are going straight up, and they're, they appear to be exp uh, uh, impacting something and, and expanding outward instead of. You know, if it was ex exploding in the sky, midair, it could expand in all 360 directions, right? 360 degree direction. But it seems to be expanding only towards the XY axis. Is that XY? Yeah. XYZ. You know, it's expanding, like, outward. So instead of all ar around. So it just appears like it's hitting some barrier and expanding... You know, after it hits, it hits that that barrier, which we don't know how high it is exactly, because you know the flat earthers are, we're limited to how much we can afford to send tech, and we're not like, you know, we don't have the funds right to do these tests, but we can do these basic tests we've done already. They already confirmed there's no curve, and and I mean from looking at history and kind of connecting everything we can see that you know something's they're hiding something and yeah these missiles appear to be these nuclear warheads appear to be striking something I'll show you the comparison of what what, what the damage these things are really really doing to the dome Okay, now guys, I want to show you. Um, this video was made by UAP. He's the underrated astrophysicist. Underrated astrophysicist on a YouTube channel on um, a YouTube channel, right? On YouTube, and he's he's uh, amazing. He does he does amazing work. Subscribe to him. But he was he found this video that was posted by Flat Earth Addict, and it was a high altitude balloon 
uh, test, I guess, from some, some university. And as the balloon went up and popped at its highest altitude, at its peak altitude, it was tumbling and the camera rolled and appeared upwards. And it looked to, to be appear pointing towards the sun and the sun appeared to be lighting... Well, the sun was out and and he noticed that there was some kind of... Behind the sun, there was some kind of structure. So he enhanced the image and he got this image. And this is what he... Th we think that this is the dome. This is the sunlight actually lighting up the dome. And we can see that it has grid lines, it has structures... It has a structure, and it looks designed, obviously. And even um, people have been s filming in the sky, like maybe towards the southern hemisphere, towards the where the dome is shorter, where the ceiling height is a little shorter, you're able to see more detail of the dome. So people with these cameras are looking up at the stars, and they're seeing these grid lines in the sky. They're wondering what these are, and this is apparently what they are, part of the dome firmament. So a lot of these ancient cultures, they've, they all knew about the flat Earth, and it just seems like the the older humanity gets, the less knowledge we, we gain knowledge in other things, but we seem to be losing our knowledge of who we are. It's we're a we're a race with no with amnesia, right? Humanity is a race with with amnesia, right? We just don't know who we are. And uh, all of you guys out there who believe that you're on a ball, I feel sorry for you guys because you guys don't know that the earth is so much more amazing than we could ever have imagined. Reality is. And what God made is amazing. It's beautiful. We should give him the glory and what he made. Give him the credit for all this stuff. And it, this proves 100% that that there is a creator and we are the center of the universe. We are special. And there's a designer. And if you don't... I mean, you can still believe in God without this theory, but this supports creation big time. And yeah, like those of you who don't believe in... You guys don't know who who you are or, or where you are. You don't know where you are. You don't know what you are. You don't know what your purpose is. Right? But this is... This is everything, right? And I feel bad. Like, I wish... I hear guys always talking about sports and oh, who won the game, who's going to playoffs, and it's watching these these stadiums filled with people cheering and chanting, and and I want God to get that glory. I want God to get that that praise. We when in church have you ever heard them cheer and scream like they they do in 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 the sports arenas? God deserves. Uh, something like that. There should be some kind of a stadium for God and they show things that He made and everyone will cheer and, and say, oh my God, He's amazing. Look what He made. But you guys just care about sports and you just care about video games. I mean, I'm guilty of that too, but we need to get our minds off of that. It's very difficult. Thank you for watching.